Good morning. Day one of practice here for my first ever Bass Pro Tour event here in beautiful Leesburg, Florida. We're here on the Harris Chain of Lakes. And uh, I've been here three times before, but it's always been in January and February. So we're here in the middle of May, actually kind of late May. The tournament starts on May 21st, and today is the 19th. So I get a full day of practice today, and then uh, tomorrow i got to be off the water about three hours before dark. So daylight to dark today, three hours before dark tomorrow. And then the tournament starts right after that. I'm in group A, a lot of hammers in that one. Uh, there's hammers in A and B and all the above. All the above. So I'm pretty excited. I'm here actually kind of early. I'm sitting underneath this big live oak with the Spanish moss and uh, I'm at the boat ramp. No one else is here. Uh, Got to be strategic about this. There's like eight fishable lakes on this chain for us. Uh, we can fish all of them except for Apopka. Uh, thanks to, uh, you got to get into a lock to go to Griffin, but for practice, you can go launch wherever you want. So that being said, it takes a while to get from one lake to the other unless you stay in the Harris chain or Little Harris or Big Harris. So I'm actually starting this morning close to takeoff. Even though we get a 30 minute runaround period before official lines in, um, I'm just starting somewhere close. And I'm only gonna practice here for like an hour or so. Um, just check, check something out before the wind gets up. It's supposed to be blowing 25 mile an hour. So I'm gonna check something out close to takeoff. I mean, maybe it's easy close, and I don't have to go anywhere. Um, if you do end up leaving the Harris Chain uh, and heading to Eustis or Door or any of the other lakes, Griffin, all of them, uh, you're probably going to lose a little fishing time. If you can catch them here in Harris, um, you're not going to lose any fishing time. So I'm going to start out here, try that. I'm super excited about this. I got nothing to lose at all. Uh, it's just one opportunity. I'm not fighting for points. Uh, I'm just going to try to do the best I can. So let's go see what we can find out here on the Harris Chain of Lakes. had like a seven pounder. <laughs> That's a big one. I wouldn't be in this semi grass. Decided they're in the Kissimmee grass. We just want to see. That's a pound and a half. I don't think it is. One point one or something. One point one oh. Exactly one point one. It's smaller than the fresh one. Definitely a non scorable bass. And you have to release them like this. All right, so it's 9.15, done here on this lake. Got a real big bite early. Caught some flipping the Kissimmee, uh, but nothing special yet, so we're going to another lake.
sir. This one's horrible. Yep. 154, so that one's just scoreable. Definitely keep her there. Oh. Over two pounds, sure. Finally caught one. Two minute penalty, not a keeper, and that would be two more minutes.
Take the motion fishing swim jig prototype. Golly, I get a selfie with that one. All right. Well, it's the only fish I've caught up here, but I'm gonna stay up here for a while now. Alright guys, we're on the phone with Chad Warren. Caught us caught us another motion fishing motion fishing swim jig bass. No, he didn't come off. No, I got him. Motion fishing swim jig, baby, just caught a big. I mean, that's a big. One. Wow. That one's over five for sure. Selfie time. Yep. That's a five pounder, baby. That's awesome. No carpet. <laughs> There's big ones up here. Golly. God, that motion swim jig, motion fishing swim jig is catching them. That's another good three and a half pounder. So no doubt, this swim jig thing could play ball. Uh, don't get many bites, but when I do, uh, except for that last one, they're the right size. So I don't know, you're trying to get numbers here, everything pound and a half, but three and four and five pounders equal two, three and four fish. So well, let's keep going down the lake and see what happens. Well, that's going to be the end of practice. We've got a beautiful sunset. It's almost 8.30. Been at it <laughs> since really early this morning. I'm tired. It was hot. But all in all, caught a lot of fish today. What is the only part that's weird about it is I caught here, there, here, there, different bait. And in this format, I've got to catch a lot of fish. Typically when I've come to Florida, I have been able to catch a lot of pound and a half fish and couldn't catch big ones. Today, 
I caught good ones. Not a ton of them, maybe five of them. <laughs> so, what's up with that? I'm not fishing a five fish derby. I catch five good ones. Uh, I caught more than five good ones. But I didn't catch very many fish as a whole. So, I don't know. Uh, got a few other lakes we're going to check tomorrow. Got a shorter practice day tomorrow. Like I said, you only get one and two thirds of days practice. All in all, this was successful. The wind's howling 25, 30 mile an hour, but it's going to be doing that for the next three or four days. So, whatever you find to get bit now, it, those conditions aren't going to change. It's just going to stay hot and windy. So, as I yawn, on to day two of practice here for my first ever Bass Pro Tour event on the Harris Chain. This is stage three uh, for the MLF Bass Pro Tour event. So, anyway, on to day two. <laughs>